I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we're continuing our Q&A series with the question, how do we operate an Etsy shop from the road? And the answer is pretty simple. The first way we had to do this was um, making our Etsy shop mobile. So we're about to go on the road and we were dealing in a lot more vintage items than just maps and prints and things like that. We pretty much had vintage anything and we had a booth in a flea market back in Alabama. Yeah, we had clothes, cups, anything you can think of that was vintage, we had it. And once we were about to hit the road, we really needed to make sure that everything we sold was flat, could store easily, and could ship easily. Mm -hmm. So that brings us to the next topic, storing our products. So we got two bins, uh, like moisture-proof bins from Walmart, and we have our inventory in one and our shipping products in the other one. And they fit easily and don't take up too much room, so works out nicely. Yeah, we even have some of that silica stuff that uh, traps moisture. We haven't mm -hmm. used it too much yet just because we haven't had the need to, but I'd be interested to see what effect it did have. So, yeah. you know, storing the products is pretty easy, and it, we do it, we catalog them by, you know, the series they're in. So whenever we're, we're retrieving the, the sold items, it doesn't take very much time. We have to list these items and to do that we photograph them first and we have to set up a nice background usually a wooden surface or something like that have nice diffused light coming in so we usually do it like inside the camper or late in the afternoon outside somewhere yeah. we found that our camper has lots of the windows coming in so we can get plenty of light and however we adjust the blinds to make sure there's no glare has really made it pretty easy to photograph inside the camper. If we find an awesome wooden table or something that would make for a good background outside, we'll do it. We'll change it up and do it outside mm -hmm. sometimes. And then that kind of leads us to the most tedious part of doing the whole Etsy shop is listing the items. We have 3,000 items on there, and it is a process. And this is where we put the most of our work in is up front in this photographing and listing process this takes a significant amount of time you know we'll spend the day or the next few days listing the items afterwards um, and after that it's just minimal upkeep of checking orders and doing whatever ne we need to do to update listings and things like yeah. that so whenever we sell an order uh, the shipping is the next category of you know, processes that involve running the shop from the road. And we found that, you know, even the smallest towns have a post office. And that is something we have never had a hard time finding. So we, we don't uh, mail them off ourselves. We always make the physical visit to the post office. Mm -hmm. And we just like that experience. It and gets us into the town. Yeah, and it's not too much trouble either. We just yeah. work it into going to buy groceries or, you know, going to take a walk or a hike, and we just make it part of our trip into town. Yeah, so we have, uh, we probably keep around 300 uh, shipping packages on hand, and that will last us a few months. And then whenever we run out, we have an Amazon Prime membership that's really helped us get, you know, these business products that we need quickly. Mm -hmm. Right now, we just ordered about uh, 200 more envelopes, so we got a box in today, and hopefully the next one arrives tomorrow, but... Amazon Prime's really helped with that stuff. And our favorite part of this whole process is restocking and getting to go find new items. And we can do that in any town, go to a thrift shop or garage sale, any anywhere we can find a cool, interesting deal or something unique to the area. And we just get to kind of get to know a place in the yeah. process. You never know. Some days we go to five thrift stores in one community and we'll just be striking out. Yeah. And then the last one, we'll just find something so awesome. Uh, this, particularly in, in Yuma, whenever we went into this, like it might have been a Christian thrift store or something, but they were selling bundles of 1960 Playboys magazines. <laughs> and we've never dealt in Playboys before, but these were way, way too cool to pass up. And you just never know where you're going to find interesting products. Yep. So that's kind of... Uh, the fun part of our job. Definitely. And we had no intention of having this Etsy store support us when we were on the road while we were making plans. Yeah, we didn't know it would evolve into what it is today. Uh, a year or two ago, it was a completely different yeah. deal altogether. It was just a fun hobby that brought in some money, and now it 
just by following the shop and where it wanted us to go, by telling us what sold and what didn't sell, we just listened to it. And now we're able to travel full time and do it all from our Etsy store income. It's not a, a whole lot, but we are able to make it work and we're having a great time. Yeah, definitely. It let, allows us to have this awesome lifestyle, so I think it's working out for us. Definitely. So thanks for watching the video, y'all. If you have any questions for next week, just type them in the comments below and we'd be happy to answer whatever frequently asked question there is out there about RV life. Yeah, let us know what you're thinking. Uh, we would love to answer it next week and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, and if you want to check out our Etsy store, we'll put a link right here. Oh, so yeah. take a look at it, y'all. We'll see you later. Bye.